Are you here to see Xander or me? Uh, both. I knew Carly didn't want a bodyguard, and uh, that's why I sent you. I trusted you would put her safety in front of everything else, inclu including your own feelings. You asked me to be Carly's friend, and I did. But friends don't lie to each other, they don't spy on each other. Okay, now, I didn't ask you to spy. I asked you to make sure she didn't do anything crazy to give me a chance to help her because I knew she wouldn't come to me herself. Now, I put you in a, in a bad position. You made a judgment call. I don't agree with it, but I, uh, I respect it. You know, you told me the truth. It was a mistake to fire you. I was uh, worried and lost my temper. Yeah, so do you want your job back? Part of my job was telling you things that Carly didn't want you to know. I can't do that anymore. Carly trusts me, and uh, I don't want to betray that. Well, your friendship with Carly is, is, is your business. I don't expect you to, to tell me that. I just want you to keep her safe. Now, you know, you've, you've, you've proven yourself in, in a short time, and, you know, proud of you, so... Do you want your job back? <clears throat> yeah. 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 Um, Sandra, could you uh, give me and Sonny a minute alone? Yeah, yeah sure. distributor in here the other day. He, um, left some samples if you want a drink. Does it look like I need one? Well, I know how hard it is for you to apologize about anything, much less admit that you were wrong. Well, I don't, I don't, I think, I don't think I said I was wrong. I think I, I said I made a mistake. Oh, just to let you know, a mistake? Yeah. It means you were wrong. Oh. No, I understand, though. I understand how you could be a little unclear on the concept, since, um, according to you, you're um, practically infallible. Not lately. Well, you really are working this remorse thing, aren't you? Well, I'm just trying to avoid a fight. Me too. That's a first. Okay, not that you deserve... <laughs> One, because when I found out that um, you had Xander spying on me, I pretty well, much wanted I, to go I, into the house. Looking out for you, not spying, looking out for you. Fine. When I found out that you had Xander looking out for me, I was pretty angry, and um, I went ballistic. But when I calmed down, I realized that you look out for the people you love. It's who you are. And most of the time, it's pretty wonderful. It's me, Mr. Wonderful. Like, I can't be mad because you want me safe. I just really wish you would respect me to, to take I care of... I respect things. you. No, you don't trust that I can take care of myself in a business situation. You were half a owner of, of a cosmetics company mm -hmm. for four months. You, you uh, locked your partner on the roof. You know what? You should do the same thing to Jax. Maybe shove him off. <laughs> well, maybe I will, if need be. He's using you, Carly. Well, if he is, I'll take care of it. Like I'm going to prove to you and to myself that I can. Do this. And you're going to realize I'm a lot smarter than you think I am. Maybe one day I'll be smart enough to see what's in front of me. Maybe even smart enough to stop stepping on the feelings of the people who care about me. Don't be so... so tough on yourself, Sonny. You're a good man. You're getting better by the day.
Well, you ready to go? Hey, yeah. But, um, not to me what it was you were going to say before Sonny came on in. Well, I was, uh, it was nothing. It was nothing. That's just, uh, you're my best friend. Well, what a coincidence. Because you're mine, too. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Hmm.